Tossing the cross wins today 11 to 4 against Keio University from Japan. We're joined by Rob Zappo. Now, Rob, you've had some opportunities to play against international teams, playing with the U.S. Uh, under-19 team. How does this compare? Um, you know, this is actually my eighth international game. I got to play seven over the summer. Um, it's great to see the, the sport grow. Um, I mean, everybody can play around the world. Uh, they had great stick work today, and, uh, you know, I just like, you know, the growth of the sport, and uh, hopefully one day it'll be like a big money sport. That'd be pretty neat if you can go professional and do that. Yeah. Now, what did you think of your team's performance tonight? 11 goals, you guys moved the ball well up top, defensively you did well. What overall were your thoughts? Um, you know, we're, uh, I mean, we seem pretty in shape. We just, uh, you know, a little sloppy. We had a lot of shots, but uh, didn't hit the cage too well today. But, um, you know, it's our second week of practice, so uh, we have a lot, to a lot of work to do. And, you know, I like the way our team's going. And, uh, you know, we're young, but uh, we got talent, so that's all that matters. Now, as just a sophomore, you got you got a few more years ahead of you. How does this team compare to last year for you? Um, younger, but I think, uh, you know, we had a lot of contributors last year that are, you know, still here. We only graduated, I think, three or four uh, guys that really contributed last year. So, uh, you know, it's just getting the freshmen and the uh, younger sophomores that didn't really play last year, just, you know, getting them experience on the field and, uh, you know, putting together what we have and, you know, not really worrying about who we lost last year. And for tonight, you had two goals for yourself. Played pretty well. What were your thoughts out on the, on the field? Um, you know, just fun to play against another team. You know, you play against your same teammates. They know what you're doing every time, so it's kind of hard to get to the cage. But, uh, uh, you know, I played pretty well. I still have some work to do, you know. But, uh, you know, uh, it's second week of practice, so we have a whole uh, five or six months to go. So, yeah. All right. Thank you, Rob. Over to Alexa with more. Thanks, Ray. I'm now joined by head coach Sean Nadalin. Coach, what made you decide to put a game like this on the fall schedule? Well, I heard that Keogh is coming into town, and it, it's a great uh, international program. They've always done a, a great job over in Japan being competitive, and I knew our guys would get a good test and a uh, way for us to open up the fall schedule with a you know, great contest against uh, you know two weeks into practice. Now, how does competing in the fall in games like this help you to better prepare for the spring season? Well, it identifies things that we need to work on, um, you know, might identify some of our weaknesses, some things that we do well. It really gives us a good gauge uh, as far as what we've installed to this point, how we execute that, and how we really need to improve upon it. Now, on the field and during this game, what do you think some of the things that you did well were, and what do you need to continue to work on throughout the fall season? I think, you know, something that we ask our guys from start is we competed. You know, we got out there, we got up and down the field, we challenged them uh, all over the place. Uh, so I think we really did that well. Uh, some really nice plays at times, you know, both offensively and defensively were good. Uh, I think we were selfish at times. So that's, you know, sharing the ball. You know, I think there's a little bit of nervousness within the team. So guys are a little bit out of character. Uh, and we didn't kind of settle down and just play lacrosse at times where, you know, things we'll recognize on film and, and hopefully the guys will understand. Now, what are you hoping for the team to take away from this amazing opportunity and experience? Well, I think, for one, uh, our guys understand really the uh, level of lacrosse that's worldwide. You know, to play against uh, guys from Japan, which our guys aren't exposed to really at all, you know, and come out here and compete against them and, and have to battle to, to earn a goal or, you know, earn a stop on defense really shows them, I think, that lacrosse is growing a lot. And, um, you know, I just think for our guys it was a great experience that, you know, they might never, you know, get to have ever again. So I think that's something that's pretty special. Um, but, but in all, you know, I think it was just a great, uh, great step for us this fall to really, you know, spring forward moving into our fall tournament next uh, week. All right, thanks, Coach. Great, thank you. Hey, Tiger Town, be a part of the uproar and get your Towson football tickets today. See the Tigers take on the Maine Black Bears in their next home game Saturday, October 13th at 7 p.m. in Johnny United Stadium. Enjoy the excitement of Tiger football as we welcome back everyone for Family Weekend. This is also a pink game, so be sure to show your support by wearing pink. It's the Tigers' next home game against Maine, October 13th, 7 p.m., Johnny United Stadium. For tickets, visit TowsonTigers.com or call 1-855-TU-TIGER. Don't miss out.